do? What do you see out of California's defense, and what's it going to take to move the ball on those guys? Yeah, they're similar to a lot of teams we've played. They're uh, primarily cover four. They got some big dudes, some fast guys. Obviously, they're Pac-12. Um, we're going to have to come out with our best stuff this week to be able to put up points on them, but I'm really confident. We've had a great week of practice so far. We have an awesome game plan. And we're excited. I feel like we have a lot of confidence, a lot of momentum on the offense side of the ball. With, with the success that their offense has had this year, there's the potential you know, that they could move up and down the field because they got a pretty good offense. If it turns into that type of game, is that the type of game you like, the shootouts, hey, let's, let's line it up and we'll keep scoring? Well, I would like a shutout like we had last week, but uh, I'm, I'm used to those kind of games. I mean, that's how I played in high school. We didn't have much of a defense, so, I mean, it was just we, we were relied to score on every time, and that's the kind of game we anticipate playing this week. Last game of the regular season, man, does it just feel kind of surreal for you? Yeah, it's weird. It feels like the season just began, especially for me. But, I mean, we, we have a lot of momentum. I feel like our team's getting healthy at the right time and really starting to peak at the right time. So, yeah, it's coming down to the end, but we're ready to play hard and come out with two wins at the end of the season. Has it hit you yet, or is it because there's a bowl game, it hasn't? Yeah, I would say it hasn't hit me yet just because of the bowl game. It doesn't feel like it's ending. I mean, today I said to the guys, this is our last real Tuesday practice that we have. I mean, bowl week, obviously, but it's the last week of practice for me, and it's, it's a mixed emotions type of feeling, but, I mean, I'm ready for the task at hand. Is there any added excitement or motivation when you take on these teams from P5 conferences? Yeah, honestly, I was hoping, I don't think Utah's played them. Do you know, has Utah yeah, played? No. I was hoping that Utah had played them, beat them, so that when we beat Cal, you know, it'll, it'll look like we were competing against Utah this year. But, I mean, it's fun to be able to play against these great conferences, especially because people have talked about whether we would be able to compete in, in a conference like this. And so it's a good matchup for us. And I, I feel very confident that we're going to have a great showing and show people that we can play with anybody in the country. How much are you just living the dream right now? Kind of what it comes across as. Yeah, I'm just trying to enjoy the moment. I know it's not going to last forever, about a month left. And I'm really just trying to soak it all in, enjoy being the, the starting quarterback for BYU, something I've always dreamed of. And also just prepare myself in every way so that I have no regrets and I play to where I feel confident and comfortable with myself you know, going forward. I don't have any regrets, not looking back, wishing I did this or that. I want to go out um, and leave everything on the field. What's at stake Saturday for the program? I feel like a lot is at stake. I mean, we this is a big game. Our last few games have been against easier opponents from not as great of conferences. And I, I feel like, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. but. We, um, it's, a, it's a big big deal for us. We want to come out with a, a big win at the end of the season. I mean, we can still finish 9-4, and four, which is a great season for BYU. Did you uh, stay and watch the basketball game last night, watch your roommate? <laughs> I was watching it, and I fell asleep in, <laughs> at the end of the first half and woke up right when it ended. They lost, right? The in double overtime. In do yeah, that's what I, I heard. Who's your roommate on this? Nate Austin. Yeah. Nate Austin's your roommate? Yeah. It's kind of funny watching him duck through doors, and yeah, it's a struggle. I, I don't even know how he fits on the beds in there, to be honest, but he, he manages. It's like having a basketball player for a roommate. Yeah. Does he eat all your, all your cereal? No, he, he doesn't. He actually brings home more food than I do, which is nice. Do so you recommend every football player have a basketball roommate? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I would. So this week with Thanksgiving, you get the holiday in it. And what, what's the key to staying focused? It, practice schedule doesn't sound like it's going to change, but just as far as not getting distracted or you know, kind of losing that focus before the game. Um, yeah, I think that's a good point. We, we really do need to stay focused. And I haven't seen any reason that we wouldn't. I mean, guys are hungry. We want to win. We know what's at stake. And especially closing out the regular season, we, we really want to play well this week. So I, I don't think, I'm not worried, at least from the offensive side of the ball, of guys losing focus or skipping a beat. So t some of the guys talked about, you know, they, you got time on, on Thursday for the Thanksgiving, and a lot of the guys not from here are going with, you know, friends or, or doing stuff. Do you have people coming over? You got yeah. a whole gang? Or? Jay Les over there, he's <laughs> coming over to the Stewart clan. We wanted to have more, but we have, uh, I have a big family. We have 20 people crammed into my house up in Orem. So yeah, Jordan's coming over. It'll be a lot of fun having him. The uh, coaches put you on a calorie count. 
<laughs> no, not me. I'm trying to gain weight, so bring it on. I'm trying to eat as much as I can. You saw a lot of players play during uh, the Savannah State game. Is there anybody that stood out to you that you think should maybe be getting some more minutes? Um, I don't know if getting more minutes, but I was I was really happy to see a lot of guys, especially some seniors on the offensive line who haven't maybe got to play as much, and especially one of my good friends, Nate Carter, get to play. I mean, I've been on the scout team with him for a long time, known him since I came here in 08, and I'm just really happy to see him getting an opportunity and really doing the most with it. He beat Savannah State and Middle Tennessee. How important is it for you to go out and beat Cal? to set the presence for the team, for the players coming up for next season? Yeah, so last, uh, I've thought about this a lot. Last year, going into off-season workouts, we were eight and five the, the past season, and I just remember the coaches ripping on us, just saying that wasn't the season we wanted, it was a letdown. And so I want to go out strong. I want to go out with a five-game win streak and really Get, keep that momentum going into winter workouts and for spring ball for next year for the guys, for the younger uh, classmen. Yeah. Are you at the point now where you're saying, gee, guys, this is the last uh, you know, regular season Tuesday morning workouts. This is the last regular season you know, team meeting. I, did, I woke up yesterday morning uh, like 6.40, I think, is when my alarm went off. And the first thing that popped in my head was, this is the last Monday I have. Really, I mean, the bowl, bowl week's a little different, so I don't really count it. And these are the, the last days for me in, in football, and I really want to lay my heart out there and work my hardest and have no regrets. And yet it hasn't hit you yet. It hasn't hit me. I'm not one to get emotional or really look back on things. I, I usually keep my eyes focused on what's next, the task at hand. and. So senior night, yeah, it was emotional for a lot of people. For me, it's like, hey, we got Cal next week. I didn't even really think too much about it. And that's the way I'm going to approach this. I mean, I have things taking the GMAT next semester. I have a job lined up in San Francisco after I graduate. And so I, I have big things on the horizon. And so I'm just keeping my eyes focused on the task at hand and moving forward from that. Thanks, Christian.